Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the loop out offset expression, which is very useful if you want to continue an animation forever and ever. The loop out offset expression uses the last keyframe as a starting point. So it creates almost like a leapfrog effect and we'll just continue the animation, always looking at the last keyframe as the new starting point. I use the loop out offset expression to create this bouncing ball animation. If I select the layer, you can see it's just a very simple curved path. I just use two keyframes on the position property. So the ball starts here. When it gets to this last keyframe, the loop out offset expression is gonna say, don't go back to the first keyframe use this last keyframe as the starting point moving forward. So it's gonna move forward. It's gonna go the same distance between the first and the last, but when it gets to the last keyframe here, it's gonna use that as the starting point and just endlessly loop forward. I can speed up the animation by moving the keyframes closer together, and I can slow down the animation by moving the keyframes further apart. And now I will show you how to create this rolling, rotating clay circle from scratch using the loop out offset expression. I'll select the clay circle layer. I have my selection tool selected. I'm gonna start dragging, then press the shift key so it'll keep it in a straight line. And I'm just gonna move it so it's not visible on the canvas. I'm gonna drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. And then I'm gonna reveal both the position and the rotation properties as that's what I'm going to animate. So I'll tap P to reveal the position property. Then I'm gonna press the shift key and tap on the letter R. I'm gonna make sure that rotation is zeroed out. So it's zero, zero, that looks good. Then I'm just gonna click on the stopwatch next to position. That's gonna add a keyframe and I'll do the same for rotation. I'm gonna move the CTI of the playhead forward in time. I'm gonna to go to the two second mark. With the selection tool, I'm gonna start dragging, then press the shift key. And when I stop dragging, that's gonna create a second keyframe on the position property. And now I'm going to enter a value for the rotation property. I want this to also rotate a full 360 degrees. So I could type in 360 right here, or I can just go to this first number and type in one. It's the same thing. So now that's gonna create another keyframe for the rotation property. And if I go back to the beginning, you'll see the position property is going from left to right and it's also rotating at the same time. I'll press the Option key on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and click on the stopwatch next to position. In the Expression Editor, I'm gonna type out Loop Out, lowercase l, O-O-P, capital O, U-T. Open and close parentheses, then open and close double quotes, and type out Offset in between, so O-F-F-S-E-T. I'm gonna tap the right arrow key a couple times to go outside of the parentheses. I'm gonna put a semicolon for best practice. Then I'm just gonna select this and press Command or Control C to copy it to my clipboard as we're gonna use the same expression on the rotation property. So I'll press Option and click on the stopwatch, Alt if you're on Windows. I'm just gonna paste in that expression, so Command or Control V. I'll click away, and now when I drag the CTI forward, when it reaches the last set of keyframes, instead of going back to the beginning, it's just gonna use the last set as the starting point for the next loop, and it will just roll on forever. If I zoom way out, it will go for as long as your composition is. And that is the loop out offset expression for a great way to continue an animation in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.